Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Noelle and I do unboxings, mostly lifestyle subscription boxes, but really a variety of categories, including stationery, books, beauty, jewelry, travel, home decor, and the very occasional dash of Disney. So if you enjoy unboxings, particularly subscription boxes, I do hope that you'll consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell. And that way you'll find out whenever I post new videos, which is usually at least once a day, if not twice. Whenever I announce giveaways, there's always a giveaway going on because in any of my videos I could announce a secret password when you find one of those you want to enter it along with your contact information in the Google form linked for you in the description box below then at the end of the month I go through with a random number picker and I select a few winners to receive a mystery box as my way of saying thank you for being a subscriber all of the requirements are listed in that Google form for you as well if you hit that notification bell you will also be notified when I go live now if everything goes as planned this week I should have just gone live last night which means you still have time to catch the replay and the replay giveaway. I usually leave those videos up for about 48 hours and you might still have time to sign up for our little holiday in July gift exchange that we're doing amongst subscribers here on the channel because I know during the holidays when we've done it before it gets a little bit busy and shipping can be a little bit crazy. We just thought this would be a fun way to kind of kick off summer so definitely check that video out if you haven't already. As always if you are already subscribed thank you so much for being here and welcome back. Special thank you to those of you who have joined the Nobot Nook, which is our little Facebook group where I do kind of post things about the uh, inner workings of the subscription box world from my perspective, as well as often some extra coupons and discount codes for you. Now the box this has been sent to me for review is one that I've opened many times here on the channel. I haven't for the past couple of months. There are some updates to it and it is My Paper Box, which is a personalized stationery company. They have all kinds of items besides the subscription as well. They do have three different subscriptions. Now this is the grand subscription and I believe it is now $38. It always includes three notepads. There's always a fun theme. There's a little mini magazine that tells you all about the holidays and the ob observations for that month as well as a little desk calendar and some other fun desk accessories. Sometimes we'll get greeting cards. Sometimes we'll get stickers. It's always a really nice way to just kind of keep your stationery replenished. I love seeing some families put their family name on the subscription so you always have like personalized notepads that your whole family can use. I think that's a great idea. They also have the mini subscription, which I believe is now $24 per month. That's three different sized notepads that has its own theme now, separate from the grand box. You can get both boxes without any overlap. And they also have a greeting card subscription as well that I believe is $20 for four greeting cards. Of course, greeting cards are so great to have on hand at any time, and $5 a card is pretty darn good, so something for every budget. Let's go ahead and get into this one. I love that they even personalize the box itself, so it has my name, even with the umlaut, the two dots that go over my E, and it says right here, see you on the road. So I think we have a little uh, summer road trip theme going on, which is fun. So let me open this up. Oh, so it looks like I'm trying to get to the magazine that'll tell us all about the contents of the box. There is something that was kind of loosely folded not creased hopefully but I'm just gonna let that spring the tissue paper open which is what it did and then here is our little mini magazine that they put together for us so the center fold is always this fun calendar that you can definitely use and they actually put the uh, different uh, holidays and observations on there like June 16th you guys is waterfall day so maybe do go chasing some waterfalls on that day let's go ahead and take a look on the inside so it says never stop exploring maybe that is the official theme happy June everyone do you have any fun vacations planned soon? I do. Not any road trips, though. I might have to put that on the calendar. It says, this month is all about having fun with your friends on a road trip this summer. Many fun celebrations are coming up this month that helped inspire this month's box. Some of my favorite fun days are, well, we missed it already, but June 4th was National Trails Day. June 8th was Best Friends Day. June 10th is National Flip-Flop Day. Well, Flip-Flop Day is every day for me. And then, like I said, we have Waterfall Day on June 16th. And, of course, we also have Father's Day. We know that it is Pride Month. I'm sure it's a whole bunch of other things month. So I'm sure she'll tell us in here. There is a photo challenge for the month. I think she might be doing that every month now, which is kind of cool. So inside the next page after that message, we do have some images that tell us all about everything that's in there. So I'll reference that once again. Then she kind of does the month at a glance. You can kind of see. So yes, it is Alzheimer's Awareness Month, Aquarium Month, Candy Month, Dairy Month, Gay and Lesbian Pride Month, LBGTQ 
IA Plus Month. So, uh, Great Outdoors Month, National Adopt a Cat Month, Fresh Fruit and Vegetables Month, National Iced Tea Month, and Rose Month. So, wow, there's a lot of months to celebrate, something for everybody. And then, of course, she has the daily celebrations right here. So, let me just go ahead and take a look. And then she goes into a little bit more depth about the different days, the different observations, sometimes with suggestions. June 4th was Hug Your Cat Day. That's so cute. Uh, beautiful image here. I, you guys, I am so jealous of all the really hip, young, beautiful couples that are hashtag van life living their lives out there. I just think uh, the images are so gorgeous. You guys know if you've been watching my channel for any amount of time, it is my husband's dream to have like a camper van, probably like a refurbished one, like that's got a good engine and that has like not standard in terms of driving but uh I would love to do that as well I, I always tell him you know if I make it big here on YouTube maybe we can actually start like a van life uh Instagram account as well although I feel like there's probably enough Instagram couples doing the van life thing already but I still love all of the images and the content that they produce so um more power to them for being able to do it I'm just a little bit jealous so here's some pretty more pretty images that looks like it's in Cappadocia so probably not going to take a road trip to Turkey um let's see what else we've got weed your garden days June 13th you guys uh oh uh, they have some easy road trip ideas like visiting a small town that you've never really explored I always love uh, stopping along the way to another destination and maybe doing a food tour if they have one available all right let's go ahead and take a look at the things that are in the box itself though so I'm gonna turn it back to the contents and creative tips pages all right, so it looks like we've got some greeting cards. Now it's got, uh, there's a lot of images of this little toy VW, which is very cute, although it's very pink. We do have a lot of camper vans, specifically like VW Westphalia van paraphernalia in our house because people know it is my husband's dream to have a van. So we've got all kinds of stuff. Although I think these days we're like, we would look more into maybe something not as expensive expensive as a sprinter van but something a little bit easier to maintain so love the navy blue envelope for one just because it kind of like tempers the uh, bubblegum pink of this card but this is so cute it says let's get lost and of course it's got some candy kind of spilling out of the toy car which kind of goes with it being national candy month as well so that's pretty darn cute so we have that card um and then here is our little desk calendar so she always has it with the fun image on one side and just the simple calendar she usually does give us a little calendar holder towards the beginning of the year and then on the other side we have it where it lists some of those observations so you can choose which side you want out like if you already have a big calendar maybe you don't need that little tiny one you just want to have that posted next to it she also includes fun um, little desktop uh, wallpapers basically that you can use as your screensaver on your phone so you can have all of them digitally as well which is great all right looks like we have got some postcards as well now this this image is a little bit more my speed so this one says i haven't been everywhere but it's on my list and of course it's got this great orange like old school vw bus i love it i love those bay windows those are like the best so and then on the back it just says noel so you could definitely use this just as a note card or as a postcard um we've got one with that same image where they did kind of cut off the top of the little mountain there but same orange vw bus and of course it just says the road so far I love these these are great to take with you on a trip and then you don't have to like find them uh, let's get lost now this is like a psychedelic paint job on this little v-dub so that's pretty darn cute I love it I love these postcards these are awesome and then this one is in a lime green I actually have a little ceramic uh, little ceramic lime green v-dub bus on my bookshelf here and it says let's get lost I believe or see you on the road is that what's what that one says so that one is super duper cute i love that i love that we got four different ones i almost want to frame those instead so you guys let's take a look at the other cards so she did include two cards that bigger one that went with the theme and then this one also goes with the theme but it's a little one and it's just uh says happy day on it so let me show you it just has a simple kind of just slightly off white I feel like maybe it's a bright white bright white envelope and then it says happy day and it's kind of got some summer vibes there with that flamingo floaty etc so that's pretty darn cute it says June is full of many opportunities to use the included cards some special occasions and celebrations 
Legends. And of course it says Best Friends Day, Father's Day. So, and then the other cards, it says, I designed these cards. You could use them as decoration, postcards, or note cards. So I do really like the different cards that she included. Now we've gotten down to our notepads. So this one is a small one. I do like this size. And again, repeating that little VW when it says, let's get lost. So you can kind of see how the theme kind of weaves its way through the entire box. So things all go together. We have a nice a long one for lists. And of course it has that same little saying, I haven't been everywhere, but it's on my list. Wouldn't that be so fun to make a list of cities and trips that you wanted to go on and slowly work your way through it? I do have that, but it's digital, but maybe it'd be fun to like actually write it out and then post it up next to my calendar, of course. And then finally we have this bigger one. This is kind of cute. So it's got like three different sections to it, a plain section and two lined sections. That's really cute. And of course it does have my name there at the top. Sometimes I kind of wish that it wasn't personalized, even though I realize that's what makes this subscription so cool because I do wind up having a lot of notepads and sometimes I'd like to be able to share them with friends. So it says the uses for notepads is endless. My paper box supports being organized and staying on track and we like to do it while keeping things cute and spirited. Make sure you have a notepad in every room of your house. I absolutely do. I definitely use them when I am trying to plan out my Instagram posts because if you guys follow me over on Instagram at Maui underscore Noelle, I often do multiple photos in a post. So I try to like create these grids to kind of make sure that you're seeing a little bit of everything in each post and I really do plan it out. So I use these notepads all the time. They're always next to my couch because I find myself kind of working on that even with the TV playing on in the background, for example. All right, so now we have a couple other things. This is a cute little bookmark. So on this side, we have the pink background, of course. On this side, it says the road so far, which is pretty darn cute actually for a book, right? Because that's how far you have gotten into the book. We also got this one that says, let's get lost. And then it looks like it's got like a almost a rope bridge, like a swinging bridge on the other side. It's a little darker and more foresty. Uh, it's kind of encouraging you to get outdoors. And it looks like we have got a couple stickers. So yeah, we've got two big stickers. One says, you got this. And the other one says, live for today. They're both separate stickers. You don't have to put them on something together. And then we've got a bunch of like littler stickers. This is really cute that you could definitely use if you are a planner person. Now I do like decorating my planner, but I find that I just waste too much time doing that. What I I like to use these stickers for is when I make mistakes because I am one of those bad people who uses pen instead of pencil. So I just use the stickers to like cover up things where they get canceled or postponed or rescheduled. And then it's kind of fun to just have something to say, don't forget, or for example, dream, believe, achieve. Or this one's pretty good. It says need more coffee. Oh, that's always I need like a giant one of that so that's pretty cute little sticker sheet so it says these oh and then we have something else these inspirational stickers are another item with endless uses all right okay and then finally this is kind of our fun unique accessory this is cool clear-cut travel film strips so this is what was kind of bent in my box but not really it says these photo film strips are so much fun they are great for scrapbooking and putting on picture frames I gotta check this out how this works so it says bond de film de voyage net clear-cut travel film strips oh interesting so there's a bunch of different ones so they are just kind of like clear plastic so you can kind of put these over your pictures now I don't actually do um, any photo books anymore where you use like the little photo corners or anything like for scrapbooking but this would really add some interest to your pages those would also have to be kind of big pages I think what I would probably use this for is if I did actually print out photos which I don't do that often I do photo books but I do them digitally and then order them at the end of the year what I'd probably use this more for is posting things on my refrigerator because it does add some some, some interest so kind of putting them as an overlay on top of things so let me see if I can pull a couple more out we've got like a lot of them so I'll have to see how to use them but if you guys have any good ideas let me know so that's kind of cool they're not sticky at all as far as I can tell no they're not sticky at all so it just says like smile and photo op but this would be really cool to add to your scrapbooks I'm not sure how you would apply them you probably have to use like a clear glue or a clear tape so it just says that you can so I think I think we had five different ones and this is just kind of like a recap of the different ones so you 
guys let me know if you, for one, still use a film camera. I do think that there is something not only nostalgic, but very romantic and lovely about using film cameras and sort of the surprise of what the photo actually looks like when you develop it, instead of everybody just kind of processing their digital photos to make them look like they're from film. I think that it, film uh, photography is still something that's really cool, and I do like to print out my photos every once in a while. This has like a little stamp, so kind of cool, kind of cool idea. I'm not sure if I will actually use these though, so if you guys can give me some good ideas in the comments below how I could use these, that would be great. Let me also know if you're going on a road trip or if you have any great road trip memories. I would love to hear that, and I will keep you guys posted if I start to plan a road trip very, very soon. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. Hey, let's have a secret password. Let's obviously make it road trip, so remember to enter that in the Google form that's going to be in the description box below. The secret password for today is road trip, and I will see you all very, very soon in my next unboxing.